I struggle, like struggle to decide whether to come here or not. I had some plans to go to Philippines and have some fun, but uh, then this thing, you know, came up and it didn't make sense at, at first to change my plans. I knew it's going to be more expensive. I, I knew it's not going to be as much fun, perhaps, but something inside of me was, um, something inside of me was determined to change my mind and I felt like I should, should definitely do this. It's a great opportunity and it also included ayahuasca ceremony, which I was curious really much for, or intensely, I would say, for at least a year. So, yeah, I decided to come and so far there's no regrets, actually quite opposite. I feel like I made the right decision against the all odds and I just love the energy and the spirit of the whole thing. I love the exercises as well, which we did. I wasn't like rolling my eyes, you know, and thinking, what the fuck, or, you know. I, I got kind of sweat on my feet, you know. So, so far so good. It's, it's a good, it's a good uh, experience. And it, it, it helps me on my journey. I think it's opening up some stuff which I was struggling with which I'm curious about and it feels like the it feels whole experience feels like the move in the right direction for me personally. Most challenging for me would, I would say would, would be to stay open and uh, <coughs> shut my mind and go with feelings and I would say also you know, so to be to be open for uh, criticism of others, to be to be present and focus, and um, you know, self acceptance as well. You know, in the whole process, I would say it's a nourishing experience because. You met these new people and you bonded them and in these days and thanks to that process you will eventually find some things about yourself. The connection, you know, it, it, it brings those important ingredients for you to discover some things about you, about myself, you know. So that's that that's been great experience. Uh, I really enjoy that. Out of all these experiences we, or practices we, we went through, I would say most important or fundamental to me was the one of uh, connection and opening up and stay and, sh and not be afraid and stay at the moment, at the place you are and open up to self and share that with others. As much as it was perhaps most challenging, I have to say it was also more rewarding because it helped to not just connect with everybody but get anybody like better but also in a way I felt that it helped me to release some of the stuff I'm carrying with myself thanks to that opening and releasing so it was very it was like a beautiful double-edged sword you know it was like to be feared of but to be also be admired you know well, I would say definitely this experience here is definitely for people who perhaps find themselves as myself to be a little bit stuck, who don't know where to, what to do next perhaps, hesitating, you know, what to do. And also for people who are curious about ayahuasca and the healing process of the medicine at least speaking for myself. And, and it's really for for any open mind who's searching better self, to be honest. And like my case, you know, I just took this risk or gamble, so to speak, instead of having fun, but I, I, I just knew that I 
that it's the right decision somehow, especially after these five days. It's just been, you know, absolutely, I was absolutely, you know, sure that this was the right decision. And I would encourage everybody who is, is in a no happy place or not the place they desire to be, to try and uh, trust the feelings, to go with feelings on this one. Stop calculate or, you know, think that this is, you know, probably not going to be good or what's the point it's just a bunch of people throwing up around you know and i i think i think they if they have inner feelings and callings to do that as myself they should definitely go for it you're about to go into ayahuasca ceremony that's right <laughs> thanks, god, thanks god thanks <laughs> god or thanks gods <laughs> what, what's your feeling about it now how do you think it's going to be i'm just after all these practices and all the you know, stuff we done, including yoga, you know, preparing a body, preparing our minds, our souls. I feel, I have to say, I feel open, energized, and I just, I just can't wait. Might be, maybe, again, a bit difficult or uncomfortable at first, but usually great things are hidden in a bit of difficulty and, you know, sacrifice, let's say, so... I just, I just feel, I just feel like, like, yeah, let's do it. You ready? Absolutely. Okay. No doubt. <laughs> yeah, the potential is one of the practices and it really opened my eyes about some perspective I carry and um, in a strange way, tension feels now like uh, more important ingredients in my life. Like I know through tension it's, and, you know, sacrifice that comes, comes like a great answer to me, so. And I learned lots of, really lots, lots of things about myself through tension and others as well. So it's, that tension is shared within this group, which is a great thing. And he, and he amplifies the learning, I would say. What was your favorite thing? For me, it was the connection and releasing. Done. It was the second day when we were in circles and yeah. yoga. Yeah. Well, well, what was, why was that your, your favorite thing? Because I think because we were so raw and open with each other. We saw each other from different perspectives. It's just in a step in a, in a space of one day, a connection and you know perspective above others completely change. Once we realize what they're going through, what they feel, and how many struggles they went through or issues they had, we saw them in completely different angle, more human angle, more lovable angle, more positive angle for the future. And it was just, it just helped me. Easy. It was just there was some there was some kind of joy in, joy in that to be to be able to go through that and at the end come. Like almost like a different person, to me, you know. Like the same person, just just just, your ju perspective. just different uh, hard drive, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> and and it make me also realize how how quickly I can judge or or dismiss people around me without truly realizing, you know, who they are, what they're going through, and how much uh, that also slows down my journey or my way. The w or the way I'm connecting, or the way I'm uh, generally around, you know. Oh, <laughs> yes, connections here are like a miles away from what I'm experiencing in my daily life in a busy city, you know. And yeah, connections are just beautiful and deep and profound and and honest. And I feel it's a, it's a, yeah, it's like a food for my soul, you know, in a way. So, to see another person love they have in them, because everybody's got love in them, I believe in that, and to even, you know, encourage them to, to don't be afraid to change their lives or love more or give more or try to slow down in their decisions, in their thinking and see other person from another perspective possible that's what I will try 
I would try to see my boss differently. I would try to see my friends differently. I would try to see my mom when I go home differently. And I hope Ayahuasca will even amplify that. And most of all, I will try also to see myself, which is, the, for me, it's the main thing.